What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys, information added that Wiki is still in shock up to this moment as he has not officially congratulated Okowa after PDP, um, Atiko chose Okowa as his running mate. So Wiki is still in shock, and information added that there is serious anxiety in Wiki's camp in Rivers as his men are drumming for war against PDP. Now, Wiki has not officially spoken. According to Wiki, he said, even though if he loses, that he will not leave PDP. That's what he said. So, Wiki is fighting with his own words. He's fighting with his words right now because um, swallowing back that word that he will not leave PDP is haunting him right now. But, you see, the worst that has happened to him is that with all the contribution, with all the things he has done for PDP, when some of these guys were not even there, Atiko was not there. Atiko was in Dubai. Wike was the one that was single-handedly running the PDP. PDP was in Wike's pocket. Everybody is aware of it. Wike could depose any chairman. He, we saw he, he deposed Uche Secondus and pick somebody from the north. His own calculation. The calculation of Wike was that if the PDP chairman comes from the north, you know, it was the time of the north to, um, to produce a chairman, that the southern part of the country will produce a president. That was Wiki's calculation. That was why he went against his own very brother, Uche Secondus, who is also from Rivers. So, but you saw how they skimmed Wiki out. RPDP zoned it to the south. I mean, they, 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 they made the, the, the council zoning and made the whole thing open. That was the beginning of the end of Wiki. Wiki went to election, election primaries. Everybody saw what happened to him. Everybody, so according to Wiki, information we had was that Tambua was not supposed to have stepped down for Atiku again because he spoke. He actually declared the, his own uh, 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 speech. After you make a declaration of speech before you are voted for, you cannot step down again. So that was what they said happened that day. And Wiki did not do anything. He was still in shock. He didn't understand what was happening. And you saw what happened now. Tambua stepped down for. Atiku, despite what Wiki have done to Tambowal, how Wiki sponsored single handedly sponsored Tambowal in the run up to the 2018 PDP primaries. Wiki was the one who supported Tambowal. You see, this is one of the things in lesson. This is one of the things in life. You, the people you are going to, you, the friends you are operating, you are choosing, what, you should know the kind of person you are dealing with, know the ideology, know the way they think. Not their background, where they come from, the collective consciousness of the people, how they think. This is how Wiki did not think. These people think power. All they think is power. So Wiki should have known that. Now they dumped him. They didn't pick him. In fact, information added that the recommendation committee recommended Wiki as the running mate to Atiku. Wiki scored, I think Wiki scored, was it that many? Was it 13? He scored 13. While uh, uh, there are 13 votes. Why Okowa only had only three? But you saw what PDP did. They dump Wiki and pick Okowa because it is not even weak, uh, PDP's choice to pick a running mate for Atiku. It's Atiku's own choice. But Atiku set up a committee and the committee recommended Wiki. But Atiku and PDP went on to pick Okowa because they see that they cannot control Wiki. Wiki is not somebody that will be controllable. You see, and in, of course, you know that in any country, usually it is a vice president that is usually in charge of economy. That Wiki will not be loyal. You will not. So, and there are, all, there are a whole lot of things about Wiki. So that's why they have to dump him. So Wiki is not supposed to be angry. He's supposed to be a good sport man. He's supposed to have called Okowa and congratulated him and move on with his life. At least he has ruled a River State for complete eight years. It's not easy. You know, uh, Rivers is one of the most complex. With, with all the hurdles he has passed through and all of that, he should just give God thanks and move on in life. And, you know, that is it. So, we is not supposed to be angry. It, I think it's, it is Atiku's own choice to pick his own running mate. It's personal to him. Nobody is supposed to, I mean, get angry if he doesn't pick him or her. So, Wiki is not supposed to get a, He's supposed to be a very good sportsman. Maturity comes when he should have called Okowa and congratulated him. And that's all. Game over. He moves on with his life. You know, but instead of getting angry, he didn't call Okowa. I mean, he, he, it is not actually very good. What was he expecting in politics in the first place? Politics is a dirty game. It's meant for dirty people. 
you know, people have dirty hearts. So Wiki should have known that it is Atiko's own prerogative to pick whosoever is his running mate and not his own right. He has lost the election. He should move on. He should move on. If they don't consider you good for the job, then you should just uh, pack your things and go. That's it. But what actually pains him most is all the investment he has done for PDP has gone down the drain. Look at the money he spent during the, the primaries. Look at the money he spent to those delegates. The rumor we had was that he's, he was giving um, $15,000 15, to each of those delegates while Atiku was giving between twenty dollars to $25,000. But look at all those things always. So what do you guys think? Please drop your comment. Let me know what you think. This is Macom TV. God bless you.